Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to bringing you the vision video, what I have guys today is something a bit different, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get pretty much no recoil on your weapon. Now this video is going to mainly focus on the lightweight M4 and the LVOAC, something like that, but you can definitely use this on pretty much any build, any weapon you want, um, I'm just showing you guys with the lightweight M4, because it's pretty much the most overused um, gun in the game right now, and it's pretty much the only weapon everyone uses in PvP, so... Like I said, I'm going to show you guys how you can get pretty much no recoil on this weapon. As you guys can tell from the first minute or so, I pretty much had no recoil in the game. I was just beaming kids and if they were close, if they were far away, whatever the distance is, if you pretty much duplicate the build, it will be a laser beam in your hand. So if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and let's get right into this. So starting off first, I'm going to show you guys my abilities and my talents, what I'm using. So uh, the first thing is a concealer pulse. Pretty much when you're playing PvP and you're solo, uh, this is the number one thing I would recommend using. And also, I'm using an overdose. I do not have a vigorous chest, so you know I want the overshield, so that's why I'm using it. And as you guys can see, both of them are pretty good. I get them back pretty quickly. For the talents, I am using critical save, strike back, on the move, and steady hands. Now, steady hands is very, very important. This build and this kind of recoil reduction would not be possible without steady hands. So I do understand that some people are coming back to the game, or some people are just starting to play the game. So if you guys have bad aim and your, your recoil is all over the place, anything like that, using steady hands can be a big, big difference. Moving over to the main part of the video, and that is the build. So... As you guys can see, it is required a ninja bike backpack. Unfortunately, if you do not have this backpack, this build is sadly uh, pretty much impossible to make. You do have to have this backpack in order to create this. But anyways, um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I guess, is my weapon and what I have rolled on it. So keep in mind, the main focus and the main purpose of this build is to pretty much have no recoil on your M4. So uh, for the weapon, I'm obviously using the lightweight M4 and what I have on it is adept, competent, responsive, uh, with 21.2k base damage, but that's not really uh, that important. For the mods, what I'm actually using is something different. And first of all, uh, for the scope, I'm using headshot damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. And uh, for the magazine, I'm using magazine size, critical hit damage, rate of fire. For my grip, I'm using stability, critical hit damage, and reload speed. And for the suppressor, I'm using headshot damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. Now, before you guys say anything, let me explain. So the first thing is, Headshot damage. Normally on consoles you would not want headshot damage because it's really hard to actually hit headshots and on PC it's way easier. Um, specking into headshots on PC is you know the number one thing to do in my opinion. On consoles you definitely want to go into critical hit damage. The reason I did go into headshot damage is because this, this build as I said pretty much has no recoil. You can land your headshots really easy from a medium range, a far range, close range, whatever the range is. Uh, landing headshots with this build is very easy and also i am using a stability grip um you guys don't really have to use this i'm just using this to get a little bit more and pretty much make my weapon even easier to use um you guys can obviously go into critical hit damage if you feel like you're not doing enough damage or you know if you just don't have a stability grip you can obviously use something a little bit different uh, than what i'm using so uh that's for my weapon mods um as i said my main purpose and, and the main focus of this was to spec into headshot damage uh, just so I can pretty much melt anyone I see in my way. Getting to the gear, so I'm going to go over this really quickly. I know most of you guys probably already know what to use on your gear and stuff like that. So uh, for the chest piece, I'm using a tactician's vest in order to unlock uh, my skill haze and my extra skill power. As you guys can see, I do get an additional 15% skill haze and an additional 10% uh, skill power on the build. And then what I'm using on it is firearms, skill haze, health, ammo capacity, and then I'm using two firearms and health mods. For the mask, I did go with a Banshee mask, and in my opinion, this is the main source of damage on your build. Obviously, you're getting damage from the headshot damage, um, you know, your talent and stuff like that. But besides that, the only gear piece you're getting pretty much damage from is Banshee on this build. So I wanted to use it. You guys can go into Predamark or even Alpha Bridge if you don't want to use a tactician and just run for Alpha Bridge. That's completely up to you. I just went with Banshee because that's what I like using, so um, what I have on it is Firearms, Skill Power, Disarm Resistance, and I'm also using a Electronics and Health mod on this mask. For the knee pads, I'm using the Classified Striker knee pads, and I know you guys are going to say, why not use a Classified Holster? 
so you can get better stats and higher stats. Well, the, the reason behind that is I am using this build in Last Stand, and if you guys didn't know, um, higher stat rolls and everything like that in Last Stand it does not matter. Everything maxes out at 1272, so um, I, it doesn't really matter to me what I'm using. Obviously, if you're going to be using this build for like a Dark Zone or PvE, then go with a Classified Holster, you're going to be getting higher stats. But, you know, as I said, I am using this for Last Stand, so there's really no issue there. But what I have on it is Firearms, Health, Shock Resistance, Disrupt Resistance, Increased Kill XP. And the reason I'm using this is obviously for the stability, which I get a 20% um, extra additional uh, towards my build. And then I'm also using a Electronics Health mod with a First Aid Self Heal. For the backpack, I'm obviously using a Ninja Bike backpack, and the one thing that's a little bit different with this is I did roll stability on it instead of health. Unfortunately, the health um, roll would be better and it is more beneficial towards your build, but as I said once again, this is a stability kind of build and this is something to reduce your recoil on your M4 drastically. So if you want it, you obviously have to spec into it and I'm also using electronics roll with it and disrupt resistance roll which is um which isn't too bad but as i said ideally you would want health it's better for your build but stability in this case is what i went with for the gloves i'm using my other banshee gear piece and what i have on it is firearms critical hit chance also rifle damage and critical hit damage ideally you would want skill haste instead of critical hit chance but uh this is what i had and this is what i'm using and once again uh the, the firearms roll is pretty bad but since i i said i'm using this in last stand, it really doesn't matter that much. Lastly, I'm using my second tactician gear piece, which is the holster. Um, as you guys can see, I do have skill haste on it. So that's pretty much the build. As I said, the main focus was uh, recoil reduction, getting way, way better aim with this build and still kind of keeping the damage. That's why I did go with 7,500 electronics and I still have uh, really great heals with my, with my overdose. I'm sitting at 4,600 electronics, which is Kind of balanced out, not really, um, but as I said, my main focus was damage and just hitting every single headshot. Uh, the final thing I want to show you guys are my character stats uh, really quickly. So, weapon damage, 21k as I said, 11.50% critical hit chance, and keep in mind this is without adept, without anything. Critical hit damage, terrible, 57%, but um, that was expected. Headshot damage, 112%, which is okay. And then stability, I'm sitting at 49%, and this is without the Steady Hands talent activating, which is pretty surprising and pretty good. Um, so as you guys can see, I have pretty much no recoil right now, as it is. And if I go into cover, come back out of it, you guys can see my stability goes up to 73%, and I have absolutely no recoil on my M4. So that's pretty insane. Um, if you kind of get the hang of it, just you know, going into cover, going out of it, and going into it once again, once your talent expires, you can you know land shots really easily in PvP and uh, just melt everyone you see. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you guys, I guess, is my health. I'm sitting at 200k, which is not too good. Um, but in PvP, having health is not really the the main focus for me at least because my heals and my survivability are pretty good. And then also my skill haze, I'm sitting at 30%, which isn't bad at all. So that's pretty much it for the build. As I said, if you guys are struggling with aim and hitting your shots, um, especially on consoles because the aim mechanics are pretty awful, uh, try this build out. Let me know how you guys like it and, and stuff like that in the comment section below. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.